Welcome to the Cuckoo Smart Site Content Management page. As you can see, this is a form based website builder, so it should be quick and easy if you have all content at hand. We start off with the easy questions, things that you should know. Firstly, you need to add your name and your surname. Secondly, you must have your personal email address, since this will be used for your login details to the Smart Site Website Builder's control panel. Create your username in the next text block. You can make this whatever you like. And finally, create a secure password. On to the next section, which is the business details. To start off we add your company's name in the first block, and when done, click on the main service box, and wait for a second or two. If you already have a Google business listing, you will see that some magic has occurred in a few of the other input boxes, like telephone or business numbers, your current website's URL, and even your address, and Google My Business Listing, and Google Maps coordinates. We did say this is a smart builder, right? Now you need to add your main service, so if you are doing wedding photography, just try to give it one word or two keywords at most. Add or edit your business's telephone number and a cell phone number, and please note that these will be displayed on your website. You can now enter your business email, which is also displayable on your website, and this email will be used for your initial contact form. If you don't have a website yet, or if we could not retrieve this from your Google business listing, then you can add your business website address in the allotted box. Before continuing, please ensure that the website address, or URL, is in fact your website URL. Just below these details, we have added a section for total customers, which showcases to your potential clients that you are an established business. This can be just an estimate, or if you know the total customers you have to date, please add them here. The same applies to the number of total customers you have each year. Once again, an estimate will do. In the final text block on the business details section, you can add the year that the business was started. This is either the year that you registered the business or the year that you started in operation. Then we will go on to the next section, which is the business branding and main colors. You'll see that we have added a section where you can add your business logo and icon, or favicon as it is known in website design circles. From your logo, we can closely estimate the four predominant colors of your branding. Once the four colors have been selected, please edit these colors to match your logo, or company branding's color sheet if one is available. For optimum results, the primary color should be the main color on your logo. You may now fine-tune these colors that were generated and ensure your primary main color will be the brightest color of your logo. The secondary color should be your logo's secondary color, which should directly contrast the primary color selected. We do suggest keeping the body text color a dark color and the body background color a light color if you would like a light website and inverting this selection if you prefer a dark or a specifically colored website. But don't worry if you get this wrong, we do have ways to rectify this without having to start the entire design form from scratch. We also need to add our favicon, or business icon, in the box next to our logo. When you are happy with the four primary colors, and if both your logo and icon are displaying as thumbnails, we can move down to the address area and adjust the business's physical address in the next section. Here we have given you the options of editing or adding a street, suburb, city, and province. It is important to have these details 100% correct, as the address will display on your contact page, as well as at the bottom of all your website pages, and also determines your Google Map link automatically. Please provide a branch or department name for your contact page. If you have multiple branches, then don't despair, as you can add up to four additional contact pages at a later stage, so we suggest that you use this for your main branch and either enter a department name or a branch name. It's more professional to allocate a contact person for this branch or department in the next text box 
as this will provide your potential clients with an entry point to a real person, instead of just a general contact. We also suggest adding a title for this contact person, so that your clients know that they are contacting a person that is qualified to handle their query. Just below your contact text boxes, you will see that we have added a section where you can add special requirements or instructions for your contact page. This section is for providing special instructions to your clients, like contact us on WhatsApp or contact us during these hours, or this is our after hours number, etc. We have also added an automatically generated map on every contact page so that your clients can easily find your business. You will see that this map indicates the exact location of your business, however, if you would like to make changes to the marker, please make all your corrections on the business address area, and then the map will automatically change after a second or two. Our smart site is specifically made to get the latitudinal and longitudinal coordinates automatically from either your Google business listing, or the address that you have entered, or edited, and as such, changing the marker manually will automatically reset to the address you have provided. On to the search engine optimization keyword section, where we have provided you with five text boxes to add your top five keyword phrases. We do advise that you use either five main products or services that you offer as phrases. Please avoid adding a single word in the keyword boxes. Instead, add a phrase like wedding photography or roof spray painting, or if you offer car valet services, add the full keyword phrase, etc. Your keywords will also be displayed on your About Us page as a list of services that you offer and are used to automatically optimize your website for search engines. The About Us page's header details is a very short intro, where you can add a brief one, two, or three lines of content for your About Us page's header area. Keep in mind that this will be displayed over your About Us header image. Next, you can add your About Us page's header image, and the optimal image proportion for this would be about 1980 by 600. Remember that most people nowadays have an HD screen so try and use a high-quality image for this section. And that brings us to the actual content, which is the basis of building your website's home and About Us pages. You can select any of the top options, as they will change the layout slightly to provide you with your unique website. We also give you the final option of a full home page layout. This option will give you a fully customized website without our AI text, where your information will be added as the two paragraphs of content on the home page, as well as the entire About Us page, as follows. Paragraph 1 would be added as the first section of your home page, and paragraph 2 will be added as the second section of your home page. The final area of text would be displayed on your About Us page. So, let's start adding the content. For this tutorial, we will be utilizing our AI text generator, so please choose any of the top options. Please confirm that option with the next drop-down selector, and now you may start adding your content. We have provided you with three different areas of 8,000 words each to utilize any information you want to be portrayed on the About Us page. Every section will follow on from the previous section, however, if you fill in just the first section, there will still be enough content for your About Us page. The only exception to this rule is when you have selected the full home page option. It will be necessary to use up all three sections, as this content replaces our AI content on the home and About Us pages, respectively. The final part of your website is the social media area where you can now add all your links to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, etc. We have given you the option of adding 12 of the most popular social media links currently available. Once you have added all your predefined social media links, you can either add a final link as per our suggestions in the drop-down box or if you do have a Google My Business listing, leave the pre-entered Google Business listing link that we have already generated for you. You can now click on Upload Content and the majority of your smart site's basic website content will be completed. That is it for lesson one, 
and this shows just how easy it is to have your own professional website designed in under 60 minutes with our revolutionary smart site builder. In our next lesson, we will be adding the images for your website as well as initial images for your gallery. See you in the next lesson.